I find that um, inspiration comes in odd forms sometimes. And uh, this particular project that I'm going to be making has been inspired by a video that I saw that was made by probably one of the most beautiful people I've ever known. Mentally and physically, all of those things. He's just a beautiful man. And he's been in my life for a long time. He's been an amazing friend, uh, despite me not being <laughs> sometimes. So this is inspired by my friend Michael. Uh, he does have a small channel. He's in Connecticut. He has been a, a good friend of mine for so many years, I don't even want to admit it. I think I met him about, um, gee whiz, 25 years ago. Uh, on, gosh, was it Yahoo, Michael? I think it was. Anyway, um, I'm going to link his channel. He has very relaxing videos um, of things, and I need to be relaxed today. Today, oddly enough, ironically, is World Mental Health Day. It is October the 10th, uh, so I am also taking this opportunity to make a nice, relaxing, happy project. So, enough of my waffling. This is an oval tray mold uh, that I got from Beautycraft. And over here, marinating, I have two ounces of my Fuitin 1 to 1 resin. You can see there are some bubbles in there uh, right now because I just mixed it up. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of let it sit there and we're going to discuss what we're going to do. Um, ducks. Ducks on a pond. Ducks in a pond. Ducks. Lots of ducks. I enjoy a duck. Anyway, um... What I'm going to be making here is sort of a water effect, uh, reminiscent of watching the videos of Ducks on Pond. So, oops, squeak. I'm going to take a tiny torch here. Just gently get rid of some of these little surface bubbles as they come up. And I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to be trying to do is making that uh, water ripple effect. Uh, some people call it velvet, some people call it uh, satin, uh, but whatever you want to call it, it's, it's sort of a watery, ripply sort of effect. And that's what we're going to try to do. So, that being said, let's pour some clear resin into our mold, shall we? Now this is only two ounces, so obviously this is not going to fill the mold up completely. Um, but I don't really want it filled up completely. What I want is just sort of a base layer for the top. Um, that will give me the opportunity to make the ripple effect um, in the top layer, so then we can get that watery dimension that we're going for. And I know that I'm not making a whole hell of a lot of sense right now, but you know, sort of perfect course with me right now. Um, I, sometimes I just don't make a lot of sense, but most times, most times it ends up okay. Sometimes it doesn't, and that's all right too. I embrace my imperfections. <laughs> All right. So now we have a thin, albeit gossamer, maybe, layer of resin in the bottom here. 
So now I'm going to let this sit and demold and just, or demold, listen to me, degas. How about that one? Yeah, that's a better word. Um, let some of these little bubbles come up and uh, we'll go to next steps. Phone's ringing. Be right back. Don't you love it when the phone rings and you're in the middle of a project and it's spam? Yeah, I love it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go around the edges with a soft silicone tool to try to dislodge any bubbles that want to hide themselves in the right angles. Um, because we all know bubbles love right angles. They like to sit there and cling and, you know, say, hi, this is my place now. I beg to differ, Mr. Bubble. I am going to remove you, if at all possible. I, I, I love a bubble. I do. Bubbles are really cool. I enjoy bubbles, but sometimes not in my projects. Although it would be oddly appropriate if we did have some bubbles in here because it's a water project, right? Bubbles live in water. Alright, so I went around those edges, got most of those big bubbles out. I am having issues with my uh, spray bottle for my uh, isopropyl alcohol. So that's why you see me using Tiny Torch as an alternative. The only problem is, is with torches, you got to be careful that you don't get too close to your mold or warm up everything too much because you don't want to burn your mold or have um, the resin burn to the side of the mold, if that makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm just not doing a very good job of verbalizing it. Verbalizing is not my thing today. Uh, so yeah, I have a nice big full bottle of alcohol, but it doesn't want to work right. So we're going to give it a shot, though. There we go. Nice little spritz. Making a mess and having a darn good time doing it. Alright, so I'm going to let this tack up a little bit before I put in the uh, plastic film that I'm going to be using for my water ripples because if I put it in there, uh, the plastic into the resin while the resin is still uh, too liquidy, it's it, the plastic is just going to lay itself flat again. It's not going to keep that um, crinkly, watery, ripply uh, shape that I want. So I will see you guys in probably about half an hour or so, but for you it's just going to be a blink of an eye uh, for putting in our plastic. See you soon. All right, so it's been about half an hour. Um, so I'm going to move on to my next step. So what I have here is a gallon size zip top bag uh, that I got from Dollar Shrub. Uh, it is you know, just your standard zip top bag. But what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to cut it uh, into two halves um, since I don't need the whole thing. So, the next thing that I'm going to do to hopefully, in the end, make this a little bit easier to get out of the cured resin uh, because if you've ever used cling film in resin, you know that once it's cured, it can be the devil to get out of your project after the fact. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with a little bit of my uh, silicone oil here that I got from a uh, craft store. So I have my silicone glazed uh, plastic here, and I'm going to go silicone 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 oil side down and place it onto my project ta-da so with my tools here just gently go in kind of poke it down And 
question, question, squidge. I'm not worried about getting resin on my hands because the plastic is on top of it. Yeah. See what I did there? So now that that's on there, I am going to trim around the edges. You can do this beforehand, but I wasn't exactly sure how much wiggle room I was going to need. So that's why I was waiting a little bit to see how small I needed to trim. I'm going to get rid of the extra weight around the edge. So the extra weight of the, you know, plastic that we're not using doesn't, you know, make the, the, the plastic become wet. You know what I'm trying to say. Just watch. All right, so now it is time to take the plastic off. So let's do that. You see I've got nice little wiggles. Well, so let's get this peeled off. And the thicker plastic, along with that silicone oil, has just made it that just it comes off like a dream. Love it. Ah, so yeah. So that's what it looks like right now. Yay. Um, let me get you in a little bit closer. Did get a couple of little bubbles, but I'm not worried about that. Again, water. Um, so now what I'm going to do is add some decorative filler. Think I'm being uh, silly? No. Decorative filler. <laughs> So what this is, is basically pea gravel. Uh, pea gravel that has been contained for consumer purchase by Michaels. There is a gnat in here, and it is just driving me six shades of crazy. Uh, so maybe uh, he'll land in here while we're making it, and it would just be more nature. That's right, more nature. Anyway. What I'm going to do is I have a tiny scoop that lives in my decorative pea gravel. And I am going to use that little scoop just to sprinkle pea gravel around. Now, I know for a fact that the resin, when I pour it on here, is going to move that pea gravel around. And I'm okay with that. So, I'm not going to be really concerned about it. The color that I am going to be using for my project layer here is going to be one of my Ranger alcohol inks. My Ranger alcohol ink in Monsoon. Why? Because this is a very lovely shade of uh, sort of a grayish blue. Um, and that's what I want. Uh, I want it to be two drops, by the way. Uh, I want it to be that sort of murky pond color uh, without being dark and dank. Um, and normally I would put down a blue layer and then a black layer and get the color that I'm looking for, but this monsoon just sort of, you know, it's two for one. It's, I think, the perfect color for a project like this because you get the water color, uh, but also, you know, the convenience of only having to use one color instead of mixing. Um, so anyway, that's why I like the monsoon. Right, what 
actually looks pretty good. What I am going to do is spray with some 99% just to break the surface tension of the resin so it goes into all of those little corners, the round corners to go with it. Um, pops those bubbles and gives the resin a chance to really uh, self-level. So that is that layer. And we will be back for next steps as soon as this is cured. See you soon, guys. All right, so now that this has had a chance to tack up a little bit, um, get a little thicker, get a little, you know, murkier consistency-wise, I just have some sand. Just plain old boring dull sand. And I'm just going to start sprinkling some sand randomly around the resin. So I'm going to let that sand do its thing, and we'll be back. See you soon. All right, so it's time for our back layer. I have an ounce and a half of resin, and I'm going to be using my coffee and blue, royal blue, royal blue, yeah, royal blue pigment. So that's what we're doing. I'm just going to pour it on. So that is our back layer. Just want to make sure that I get all of our little ridges and peaks and valleys and whatnot covered. I'm going to go over with some alcohol just to help with bubbles. And then we wait. We're going to go ahead and let this here and uh, I will see you guys for the demos, right? So, see you soon. It's time to demold. Let's see what our little duck pond looks like, shall we? I do have some cleanup to do around the edges. But that's fine. I can just go around it with a deburring tool and get it all nice and smooth. Get my mold turned back. I'm interested to see how our little duck pond looks. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, very cool. Very cool. The ripples are subtle, but I like it. You can really see it more in the way that the uh, stones and everything have been laid by having those in there. Gee whiz, that just looks nice. 
Mm. I like it. I just think. I like it. So yes, there are a few bubbles. Yes, there are some imperfections, but... Nothing in this world is perfect. I like it. <laughs> Hopefully you do too. So, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Mm. I like it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I hope that you are all taking very good care of yourselves. And if you, if you don't feel like you can, ask for help. Tiny little four letter word. And it's easy to say. Thank you for joining me in this journey. You guys take care. Cheers. <laughs>